But good morning, guys. Hello, hello. We've had all the tech issues this morning already. But we appreciate you guys. Much love, much boops. We're going to be playing some Eternal Sun now today. Should be a lot of fun. Um, last time we were playing, we did some stuff and some such. I don't really... I think we were going back to our main town and then we got, like, sidetracked and our party split. So where are you stand first? Yeah, I think I just forgot. <laughs> like, it still made the noise. Just the picture didn't come up. I'm guessing because it was on another scene. I'm surprised it made a noise if it didn't show up on screen. I don't know what happened. Or at least it's... Or maybe it's just because my alert box is under. Yep, that's what it is. Let me remove one of these. Wish I would have said that. I know I didn't stop talking about it. I should do it. <laughs> yeah. But thank you, Phil. Thank you, Poops. We boop and appreciate you guys for the five videos and the. Yeah, that's what it was. Like, it was there, just under the, under, 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 under stuff. Appreciate the chat. We might try a new schedule thing. I need to figure out a second game, though. I wish, I don't know, I could do Lost World, I guess, because I kind of want to do a PS5 game, at least, like, with the main game. Inside these barrels. That's too meta. Yeah, trouble if you drifted out toward the ocean so clinging to the wood. After dark, the temperature falls and the beast increase in number. It was very forced when we came by what we did. If you ever play this game, perps, you definitely, like, want to try your party a little bit at a time. Because they split the party a decent amount, like, where you just... So it's like, hey, you know these... Three people you've never really played before, but now you're gonna play us. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I think we will do that, although uh, maybe not switch games for thingy, but like, what was that? Oh, a snowman, how cute. Oh. Yeah, I didn't even think about it being under the thing until I thought about it. That's kind of the issue. I, I, I need to be more patient, I guess, when you tell me there's a problem. Because then I just start fixing it, and then I, I was just like, wait a second, you can tell me, like, hey, this is the issue you're having. <laughs> or might be having. As soon as I start trying to fix it, it starts freezing. Yeah. When I start fixing it, it makes it lag, so it's like, oh, rip a dip a dip. It's a cool looking ship. I appreciate it for it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's always so hard to catch that stuff. We need to make one more normalized that it's okay for people to say something, a streamer's doing something wrong. I feel like a lot of people feel too, like, anxious or weird about it. But us streamers really appreciate when you guys tell us, like, hey, you have a sound issue, you guys have this. So we can catch it, you know, so we don't, like, Spend our time with weirdness. It's full of liquor. I pulled Dizzy just now to get acquired hell mustard. Hell mustard sounds like so fancy. What's your favorite kind of mustard, perps? Mustard? I'll have to try that. I was like, man, I'm like a great coupon. Perks is like raspberry. Something. Let's like just forget it. Raspberry honey. I don't remember. I'm good. I'm good. That's interesting. Where do you get that at? Grocery store? Is that just one of those responses you like saying because it sounds different? Well, I think it's fun to just like say something that's so completely, you know, like random, you know? You know, we usually only have yellow mustard. That's alright, I guess. Or if I could have like a fancier mustard. I 
most of my monsters are too sweet. Speed up to them. Like a little bit more. Tame. Or a wing to it for it to like a wing in it, you know? And I, I start from sinking into this. Who waits to this drum to it? No. I, I need to check if you guys can, can you guys hear me in the street? Hello, hello. I think that's like the biggest issue with like having kind of a quieter chat like in the beginning. It's just like you just don't know if you're having an actual issue or not. Or something. Would you like a pain in your pocket? I can't really. It kind of sucks in this game that. It doesn't allow you to equip stuff out of the store buying thing. I definitely prefer my quality of life stuff where you can just easily do it. Tell you, Tales? I think it was Tales of Vesperia. It was ridiculous for... Uh... Like, having a crazy amount of items if you never sold. Because literally every battle... I think it would drop weapons and stuff. I literally had just such a giant wall of stuff in my inventory. And you could like break it down and stuff. That took forever because there's just so much of it. And I said like every battle you'd get a new weapon. I don't need a weapon, but you get a weapon. I just got a big giant wall of it. It's it's so the world is all just Frederick's dream. Okay. Good evening, Frederick. I see you haven't woken up from your dream yet. So she <laughs> believes it is is it right? Oh, hello, Polka. Are you having trouble sleeping? Yes. I'm still worried about the others. Polka, there was something I said to you before. I think the sound's off. I don't know how to about fix that, the way though. Everything in the world slowly fades away. Gradually... One second, chat. It seems like, like the sound is off. I'm not sure why. What Twitch got rid of those? Apparently not. Mm -hmm. Like the sound doesn't match their mouths. Hello, Christiane, how are you? Yeah, the sound don't match their voice. It's like slightly off, not like major, but not that it's noticeable. What else? Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing, Christiane? But since I've come to this place, I've begun to feel as if that is somehow being reversed. <laughs> hmm? What do you mean? Well, compared to when I first came to this world, now, when I look around, I feel as if everything in the world is becoming more vivid, more clear. Could this be the proof I sought? Is this world, which must be a dream, somehow becoming more real? Or does it only prove that I myself am slipping away, fading even faster than the world around me? For example, I find myself wondering about whether the others are all right. 
Well, then we fixed ago, it. I wouldn't have cared what happened to them. Why should I when none of this is actually happening? But now, I'm genuinely concerned. I don't know why, but I feel a strong sense of solidarity, a connection with the people of this world. Well, I think that's a perfectly normal way for you to feel. After all, it's only natural to worry about people you've spent time with and grown to care about. Makes sense. You know, before I had this illness, everything around me seemed so dull and ordinary. But since I found out my life would soon be over, even little things seemed to shine with an inner light. Like the sound of wood crackling in a fireplace, the smell of a campfire, leaves slowly floating down a stream, the gentle sound of falling snow. Now that I think about it, I probably only feel that way because I am approaching death myself and have begun to fade more rapidly. Just as Amelia did. Amelia? My sister. She was only 14 when she was struck down by tuberculosis, the exact age you are now. Oh, your sister was my age when she... I see. How terrifying it must have been for her. Forced to accept an inescapable fate. She must have had so many hopes and dreams. Why? Why does God allow such things to happen to good people? Hey, Sam, how are you? Even her chance to live. Hello, hello. Thank you for the lurk. Poor Amelia. Poor Amelia. It is sad, but everyone dies eventually. It's just that for some people like Amelia and me, it happens a little bit earlier, that's all. How are you guys? Besides, in a way, Amelia still lives on, doesn't she? Good, that's awesome to hear. She lives on inside your heart, Frederick. And she lives in the wonderful music that your heart creates. She also lives on inside all the people of the world whose hearts are moved when they listen to your music. Amelia won't ever really die. She'll touch the hearts of every generation to come. Through her brother's melodies, she will live on forever. Oh, that's so sweet. I think that's wonderful. Frederick, do you need any more proof that part of her still lives on than the thought of that? You know, Polka, whenever I'm with you, I feel like I'm talking to Amelia. It's almost as if Amelia is saying the very same things to me. Thank you, Polka. I believe you've taught me something very important tonight. Very important indeed. Oh. I think I vastly prefer voiced, uh, cutscenes over non voiced. So much better. Especially with games with a lot of it. There's something about you that draws others to you. And since I met you, my way of thinking has changed quite a bit. Like, I feel like even bad voice acting is preferred to me before, having to read all the text. <laughs> the past and ignoring the future. 
because thinking about the future is just too painful. Mm. I know you're going to die soon. Poor Poka. But you told me when we met that this whole world existed inside your dream, right? At first, I thought you were teasing me by saying that this was your dream. But now, I actually think that it's a really beautiful idea. And now I realize that believing in you is really the same thing as believing in the future. That's especially important for someone like me, who uses magic. You help me be more positive about the future and what I need to do. <laughs> I should really be thanking you, Frederick, because you've taught me something very important, too. Ah! What was that? Uh, yeah. What was that? A noise. Oh, there's something in this box. Acquired a piercing shell. Huh. I've never really used any of these items in battle. It's kind of tough because... You only have so many, like, spots to put stuff. I always just use these items. I think it's a piercing shell. Oh. It's for bait. A shock? Penetrating bullet. Who doesn't enjoy it? Never. Bang, bang, bang. It's so weird. This party's literally made up of a 14 year old, an 8 year old, an 8 year old, and a 39 year old. <laughs> Two weeks their own, I guess. Nope. Yeah. Bright Beat and Salsa are the youngest. They're both 8. They're the babies. You can miss these scorp. Right? Why not, Burbs? Why not? <laughs> Guess we'll go save it, honestly, just in case. Put it out, chat. Save. Xbox point save. Like so does it over save? I actually talked to somebody yesterday about Magaya too. Or, I mean, it wasn't yesterday. I think it was a couple days ago, actually. But um, and I kind of like, I kind of wish people would not bring up issues they have with games when it's like tech issues sometimes. <laughs> Cause I kind of forgot. Like, cause I think I remember now people talking about it back in the day. One of the biggest problems with Magaya too that people really disliked is there's a loading screen almost between like every battle. So, like, a lot of times it takes, like, a minute or two to get into each battle. So it takes a long time. It never really bothered me growing up, but I, I don't know. Like, now that it's been pointed out, it might now. <laughs> it kind of stinks, too, because so, if Sony would, like, get their crap together and, like, pour some of these games and make it where they could run better, like, that'd be awesome. Like, some of these games would definitely be way more playable. You remove a lot of the save. Something like that. I've also heard, uh, there's another game. Um... What's the game I was thinking about? I had problems. Dragon Guard 3, I heard. I think when I was watching EV. I was talking about, uh... The problem with it is just poorly optimized and it kind of like... The frames and stuff are a mess. Thank you for the sub, by uh, the way, Phil. So we'll go back. Acquired a score piece? Oh. Okay. You wanna check that one? You've been perked. That should be your saying, perked. You've been perked. This battle will probably be hard because if we have to fight a boss here, this is literally what the part we never really use. So it should be interesting. <laughs> it's getting my shot today. Good luck. 
damn it. Of all the times for this to happen. Ooh, it's a pirate ship. Well, what is it? It's a pirate ship. They appear out of nowhere sometimes and attack vessels that travel up this river. The pirates sneak up from behind and ram their unsuspecting <laughs> target. That's what he said. That's terrible. That's funny. Maybe there's something we can do. We should repay them for helping us. I agree. But whatever we do, we have to move quickly or those people will try to board this ship. It's far too dangerous. These pirates, even their underlings, are very strong. Hey, that's no way for our captain to talk. Don't worry about a thing. Just leave it to us. Mm, what's all the fuss? Is something happening? Still really <laughs> sleepy. I like her accent. So adorable. We'll go over and keep them occupied. Meanwhile, try to pull the ship away as far as you can to keep them from boarding. Uh, right. I'll do everything I can. Very good. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> well, in theory, this whole game is based on his being his dream, so I think that maybe that's probably that's a good excuse for why it doesn't. Because he doesn't actually like look like this. Yep. Looks like I guess we've met people like that, me and you. Like playing with other people and they sound like they're in their thirties or something and they're literally like, <laughs> 20, like twenty. Rawr! Rawr rawr. Rawr! Rawr! Yeah, first? Roar! Roar, parts! Roar! Let's hear it. To your purpliest roar. Oh, that was... That was right, I guess. You know what funny? It reminds me of, uh, Rex's roar from Toy Story. When he tries to roar. <laughs> like... He's like, my roar is not scary enough or whatever he says. It's like... That's what it just reminds me of. The same. He's trying to like roar. Is this New Game Plus? No, it's not New Game Plus. If it was New Game Plus, I would add it in the tags, I think. Yeah, first playthrough. I should maybe put that in my title, I guess. But it is in the, it's in the, um, in my tags. I don't know how often people pay attention to tags. I think people use them sometimes to find streamers when they search stuff. It does pop them up, but straight up like looks at tags while I'm streaming. I don't know how many people do that. Probably not very often. I don't think we'll do a new game plus, at least it's like... At least it changes a lot. I don't know if it does or not. We'll look after we maybe beat the game. I know, and you guys, I thought, I forgot it was a birthday. But have a good day. Huh? I can bend this. I swear. Sounds good. Good. Time to swab the deck. Stop. 
trying to just walk it. I love pirates and stuff. It's kind of funny that we're doing it this far. I, I, um, I, I started the last season of Black Cells last night, which I haven't watched in a long time. I started it ages ago. Black Cells. But I had to quit watching it because my trial is... Or I, I quit having stars for whatever reason. I didn't want to pay for it. But I finally started it again. Oh, I should have done that. This one looks in. Where is one wood? I think there's a lot of missable stuff in this game. I mean, if you plan on doing a new game plus, I think the story, if the story doesn't change, I don't usually do new game pluses. Especially for streaming and stuff. Maybe in the future, I guess? Turning for first off pirates, this year's 100 best eye packages. We are Pirates Volume 153. This one sounds fun. <laughs> 153 volumes of that. We're definitely gonna fight a lot of these battles because they definitely need leveled up since this is our off party, basically. Hopefully, we have to fight a boss or something. Better than. enjoy this game. If you guys haven't tried this and you're into RPGs, I would greatly recommend it so far. A very unique story. The battle system's pretty unique too. It is kind of tough. I know a lot of people say this game's easy. But it depends on what version you're playing. Apparently, like, the Xbox version is a lot easier than the PS3 version. So if you want more of a challenge and you have both systems, PS3 is the way to go. But if you want a little bit of an easier game go to uh, Xbox 360. Apparently it's like a lot easier. They've, they've really upped the difficulty. Is there nothing here? The more you know. Oh, was there something there? I thought I saw something. I don't know if we saw something or if it was her hair flipping every which way. Her hair is so distracting. <laughs> I think it was her hair. Here. I really like games that do the question mark thing too instead of just like straight up just mashing X forever like a lot of like old Final Fantasy games or you literally just had to like run around and just smash X because it literally would not show if you were finding something. I think a lot of like the easy thing that makes the game a little bit more enjoyable. I feel like certain things just kind of take away from enjoyment. <gasps> oh no. Are you alright? What the? What's this thing? It looks like some kind of weird rock or something. 
Hey, Polka, why are you carrying around this weird stone? To be honest with you, I don't even remember how long I've had that stone. According to my mother, I was already carrying it around with me when I was just four years old. She would tell me to throw it away, but I wouldn't listen to her. Apparently, I said it was a gift from someone I love, and I would never throw it away, no matter what. Huh? You had a boyfriend when you were four? Wow, you were really <laughs> precocious, weren't you? Precocious, like that. I don't know why, but for some reason this stone feels very important to me. And I've never been able to throw it away. The distant memories of a fleeting love. Oh, it's so incredibly romantic. Enough with the mushy stuff. Let's just get moving. And a girl from when I was four? I don't even have a girlfriend now, lucky guys, to tell ya. Rude. <laughs> Good morning, Shoe! How are you? How's a lovely Shoe? Thank you. I slept really good last night. I hurt myself the other day roller skating, but it's fine, right? Gotta restart, sounds good. I miss roller skating, yeah. It was fun. I said I hurt myself like right toward the end, and I just like said, no, I'm good skating for the day. Been really annoying. Really Look over here. Good. I'll kill all you. Time to swap the deck. Stop. 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 I'll kill all you. Sister boy, how are you doing today? I should buy items, I didn't even think about it. Oh yeah, ego drop at this stuff, so...
Okay, back. Welcome back. Yeah, RuneScape was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. But I, I fell hard. Like, really, really hard. It's funny, I was doing really well. You know, I skated for like an hour straight. Was chilling. And then my leg's like, you know what would be really fun? Is if you just randomly forgot how to skate. And then you literally fall. And you snop the wind at yourself. And land on your wrist and shoulder. And then be sore for the next four or five days. It's fun, right? It was like one of those nice falls too. When you hit hard enough that you like forget how to breathe. And you feel like you're dying. And you also want to puke. <laughs> it was very much like, oh god, I can't, I don't know how to breathe anymore. And, like, and the kid was like, let me go get the people up front to tell them that you fell. I'm like, please don't. Please no. Like, this is embarrassing enough. I don't need an adult. You know, I'm chilling. <laughs> like, I will just like drag myself to the side of the rink and I will just... I will try to remember how to breathe. <laughs> like, please don't bring more people into this. Please don't. But we don't need any more. Yeah. Just wanted some extra attention. Right? I cannot believe how much that hurt. That was just like ridiculous. I haven't fell in a long time on skate. I don't know what happened. I just randomly forgot how to skate. Never again, guys. But it's a lot of fun. You guys should go skating. Skating is a lot of fun. It's a very good workout, too, if you're working on losing some weight. Uh, a 45 minute workout, or a 45 minute skate, I think is what I hit before I uh, took a break and then done a little bit more. Was like almost 800 calories. So if you're looking for something like that, it works like wonders. And it can be fun. I'm thinking about getting like a, a pair of my own skates and like sport skating outside and stuff at the park. And I will definitely be getting like a knee pads and stuff, an elbow pad, because apparently I'm clumsy. And I like my skin on my body, so. Very odd chocolate. Hmm. Very odd chocolate. I'm gonna turn myself to fall on me. It's hard. Yeah, that's my problem. I literally didn't even. I didn't even realize it landed on my wrist until like the next day. When it was like really sore. Oh, that's not an enemy, that's my working mate for it. I got a bike helmet. I guess that'll work. I'll wear a bike helmet with roller skating. I want to buy another helmet just for roller skating. It's a little fun though. I enjoy roller skating. It's kind of boring though at an actual rink though. It gets kind of boring. So like actually going out and doing it outside might be nicer. There's a lot of shoes here. My pirate's always there for.
If we were an IRL streamer, I think I would even do like roller skating streams. That'd be fun. Get like a GoPro or something. Yeah. yeah, they have a nice little like walking bike path thing at our park. It's pretty long too. It's a couple miles, I think it is. So, be a lot of fun. This is so big, man. No one told me about this. So we're flying here. Yeah, I've never really done outdoor skating, so I don't know how it would be, but I kind of want to try it. We're doing a lot of bike riding and stuff, so it might be kind of fun to, uh, do some of the other stuff. I don't know why they're ever turned back around again. It's been really cold and rainy lately, apparently. Spot here, so I'm guessing this is the right direction. So we want to go back up and explore those other rooms before we go any further. <sighs> like anytime you see a safe spot, turn back around, you know, go back and explore anything else. I really like games that do that, that do a safe spot before like the next main area. I play games where if you go the wrong way, you can't go back and there's, you just miss the items, and that's kind of annoying. It kind of stinks too, because a lot of games, like, their items are not that good anyways. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Kicks for ya? 
So it looks like we can only go this way now. Street Hero! I'll do my best. Check to see. Uh, did we change hers or can we change hers? Yeah, she doesn't have any new ones. I'm an expert today. One of my biggest issues is my neck. That's true. What? I'm not struggling with it. Hey, can we make our avatar a little bit bigger? A little bit bigger. It's kind of like. Definitely have her bigger. I really do it on stream though, Seth. Okay. Oh, 
In there. I literally wouldn't let me shoot. Oh, I guess because I didn't have my camera. All this shit looks just alike. Got a sprinkler? Yeah, a lot of it looks like just like everything else. There's so many pirates in this game. Or on the ship, I mean. On the game. Which I guess is technically in the game? I don't know. Something! Something, something is going on. Boopsie's tripping, tripping, tripping. Rolfie, how are you? Good. How's it going? Player. Sorry, though, it's been a minute. What have you been up to? Oh, not a whole lot. It does seem like it's been a minute, right? When we had three days off at the end of the week. I should maybe, like, figure out a different way to do it. But, I don't know. The biggest thing with a lot of this stuff is... 
people want to do like anime Fridays and stuff is kind of the issue. So I think honestly it'd be kind of better to have like a day off like maybe Thursday or something. So we like three days in a row. How you been? Did you have a good weekend? And all the things. Good thing. Oh, nice, nice. Do anything fun? Oh, the player. Oh, have you come to help me out? The pirates captured me when I was transporting my cargo. I'm begging you to get me out of here. Huh? A score piece? You'll help me out if I play a session with you? Um. Messed up, just give me a little more chance. <laughs> have you heard of Pokemon? Yeah, I have heard about it. So I was talking about what were we talking about like last stream, I think. <laughs> yeah, we talked about it last stream. Sounds kinda interesting. But that one might be a tough call. Dark roach. Did I drop the one that's in my mind? A pretty difficult hack for all of Pokemon. That sounds like a lot of fun. Who do you think is going to win? Are you good at it? A race car? Sacred Gold, Storm Silver. It does sound like a lot of fun. What makes it so difficult? <laughs> Got my butt kicked at Gen 4. <laughs> which was Gen 4? Which, uh... 
Wait for it for much because I had my box. Is there a time limit? See, I'm guessing there has to be a time limit. Woo! Hmm, I don't like the fact that the fact that it Okay, battle items, random trainers are even tougher, see? Sounds tough. Sounds really tough. I've always been kind of bad about how I play Pokemon games, I feel like. Oh, it's F6? Yeah, that can be really difficult. Well, that raises her attack by a lot. Almost double. Well, almost double, but. Yes. I know we can do it! I share stuff like that though. It's always cool learning like new stuff about I don't know much about. Thank you. 
don't think we have any angel trumpets left yet. No, we only have a couple. Never mind, it's fine. But I've been wasting them. down here that we can drop down without like walking down. Oh, we'll save again. We'll save again. Thank you guys for watching and hanging out though. I appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing, beautiful people. Much love, much boots, and I hope you guys have enjoyed.